Okay, welcome back again to some 0k action, just going back to the game itself. Okay, so this is going to be uh, the second game of the match between Google Frog and Magman on the map Badlands, part of the 1 vs 1 0k tournament for September. Talk about a long-winded introduction. Probably don't really need to do that actually every single time. Especially given that this is, you know, you should have seen the first game anyway, even if you're watching this on YouTube. But in any case, Google Frog won the last game. No big surprise there, and given the massive elo difference, probably going to win this game. We'll see what happens though, we're going to have a, at least a, a bit of a difference in terms of factories, and what are these guys saying? So, like a fun... Yeah. Huh, okay. Indeed. Shouldn't decide I go to factories, come on, that's going to be near impossible when you've got such different factories like spiders and bloody hovercraft, for example, but anyway. Uh, slight, yeah, that's not how it works, as far as I know anyway. I mean, to, for that for it to work that way, they'd have to water down each factory basically quite a bit. Make them less unique, in my opinion. Hmm. Indeed. Oh, ATI issues as well, which is what I'm using NVIDIA, the way it's meant to be played, eh? Well, just what happens to get. <laughs> Have used ATI before, they're pretty nice. And, yeah, it's all good. But, uh, well, in any case, let's just focus on the game itself. Um, yeah, Magman going for jump shots, like I mentioned before. Cloaky bots for Google Frog. I could swear the camera angle looks a bit different. Could just be my imagination. Might just be the way I was looking at that Cloaky bot factory. And Google Frog actually not building anything up at all. He's focusing entirely on eco. Balanced on Comma Catcher, my god, how the hell would it be balanced on Comma Catcher? Oh yeah, that's right, the stop on that, yeah. Yeah, exactly, so yeah, how the hell are you meant to balance that? Be uh, pretty silly to say the least, but um, in any case, yeah, Google Frog actually going pure eco. And of course, defense, so defense is for the economy that he's building up. And why not? I mean,. Magman, he's doing a bit of harassment towards the corners. Let's just see what this one's doing. Yeah, towards the corners basically. I'm surprised he's not actually using the fight order, but anyway. He might actually try to pincer in Google Frog from two angles at once. He, well, of course, because I can see exactly what's happening here, I can of course see that it'd be better if he just grouped up his um, pyros into one one little bowl, well, one little group, and just struck at, you know, one part of uh, Google Frog's base, rather than uh, engaging separate defences separately, but uh, yeah, of course, Magman can't see that, or at least it shouldn't be able to see that. You might find out, though, he's sending in uh, one pyre in one direction, another one in another direction, and he's not going to do much. Managing to set one single glaive on fire, might be able to burn it out, not going to make much of a difference. In fact, look at that, Google Frog on the ball. Great job there, just healing up that glaive. Struggling to heal it actually through the flames there, but there we go now, just healing it up. Because why not, eh? Every single glaive is precious, especially since he's not actually uh, building anything from the Cloakybot factory. Looks like we had another um, pyro come in and it got wrecked. And, and at the same time it deposited its uh, wreckage there to get reclaimed by Google Frog. So yeah, Google Frog overall, uh, yeah, doing damn good actually. Focusing in entirely on uh, economy and also showing that a bit of an economic strategy, uh, yeah, can certainly work out if um, if the players are mismatched quite a bit when it comes to skill. <laughs> so there you go. Yeah, indeed. Yes, and. Uh, also, while I was talking, yeah, the defender getting stunned out by um, Google Frog's own uh, tick there, very nicely done. Uh, losing the defender rather than necessarily, but still being able to bat Magman's forces away. Magman, yeah, I don't, don't know why he's trying to engage. Well, actually, well, that that actually worked out pretty nicely. He did still lose. Well, actually, no, that was Google Frog's glaive. Okay, well, actually, that worked out pretty nicely, but. Um, yeah, it was a bit of a risky attack, just attacking with a single glaive on its a uh, single pyro on its own while these two were healed up. If he waited just a little bit longer though, well that's the thing that uh, other defender would have been built up, but at the same time he could have come in with more um pyros in all at the same time, which might have been slightly more efficient. 
Not that it's really going to make much of a difference anyway, I mean, Google Frog's economy is not actually that much further ahead than Magnus, in fact. Google Frog's army is uh, on par with Magman, despite the fact that Magman, I'm pretty sure, has... B oh no, Magman's not actually building anything either from his factory. I'll be damned. It's too bad he didn't focus the commander, though. He might be able to take it out, though. Any builders in the vicinity? Yep, there's actually one. Yeah, his commander's not going to die. Yeah, he should have focused fire on him, actually. That's, um, that would have made a pretty big difference, actually. It is a level 1 builder commander. <laughs> yeah, that probably decided the game, yes, indeed. And, uh, yeah, you can never have enough defenders, eh? <laughs> oh, bit of probing attack doesn't work out too well, actually. Magman's... Yep, it does reach out to the edges there, so... Yeah, he should have um, at least got the commander. He didn't focus fire at all, so a bit of a mistake by Magman, and it's probably... I mean, the game is probably going to be Google Frogs to win anyway, but that's... yeah, that's going to be a significant blow to Magman nonetheless. Each pyro is incredibly expensive. 220 metal each, for God's sake. And not only that, but all of this metal is... Um, okay, it's sort of in no man's land, but it's still... Google Frog... He can tear down these defenders pretty easily with, with his Zeus, so yeah, and he's going to be building up his own defences as well. Actually, using Scuttle, that could have actually been worth it, especially since it was a level 1 commander. But, um, yeah. So these pyros, yeah, all the wreckages and all that, now belong to Google Frog, essentially. So yeah, he's a very, very nice medal donation by Magman, I'm sure uh, Google Frog appreciates that. And yeah, now Google Frog's army actually is... Uh, Getting a little bit bigger. Ouch, more pyros going, getting taken out. Apparently warriors, according to um, some of the uh, stuff that I've been reading, yeah, apparently warriors are more efficient against um, pyros compared to Zeus's, but whatever, Zeus's, they, they can tear down defences as well. I mean, warriors can as well, but they're not as efficient at doing that. All on the middle of a map in terraformed water. Actually, I... Oh, no, in terraformed water. Well, I've sort of seen that. I mean, I've um, played on the White Rabbit map a few times and, uh, yeah, have actually seen the battleship Warlord as well as even the uh, the reef carrier being deployed in the middle of the map. The, the thing is, there is an actual river that goes along the middle of the map. But there was also some terraformed um, terrain as well to allow those two ships a little bit more room to maneuver. So that's... Yeah, it counts as terraform terrain, sort of, I suppose. At the very least. Um, and you got to have the Faraday hat acts like a force multiplier. Very nicely done. Too bad these Zeuses are still going to be able to tear through quite a bit of Magman's defences. Actually, probably should just go straight for the radar tower. Or you could just go for the commander. Why not? So it's basically stun wars here. And yeah, down goes the commander, down goes the radar tower, down goes the Faraday. So very nicely done indeed. This guy... Um, Making five times cost. Very nicely done for the Zeus. Can he actually morph? He can. He can actually morph to a crab if he wants to. And uh, he could if he wanted to, but nope. Not going to see any morphing, unfortunately. Because Mega Man is out of there, so. Interesting game. Nice little factory differences at the very least. Got to see that, and I shall see you all in the next video.